come along with me, my friend. My name is Leo Jeter, and I'm the director of Ishmael. My take on Melville's Moby Dick is to focus in on the narrator, Ishmael. My concept for this show, to help condense the 450 pages into an hour and a half theatrical production, is to present Ishmael in midlife at the top of the show. He's teaching school, he's doing what he has to do, but he's haunted by this incredible adventure that he had when he was younger. Can't stop thinking about it. Almost like a post-traumatic stress. So the show progresses out of his imagination and memory uh, with the accompaniment of three bluegrass musicians. We tell this tale in such a way that it gives the audience uh, an experience close to what it's like reading the book. It's kind of overwhelming, and then it just sort of leaves you, drops you, and you're left to contemplate the vastness of the story, of the universe, what's transpired, and the desire we all have to seek out something beyond ourselves and experience the unknown. I think we live in an age where people are really really wanting more authenticity in their lives. Everybody wants to unplug, get away. Ishmael, 1853, that's what he wanted to do in that world. He wanted to get away from teaching school, get out there and have an adventure. What he doesn't know is that he's going to run into somebody who's already been on life's adventure and has come out on the other side in a very dark way. And this play is an attempt to show how Ishmael and Ahab, in some ways, are two sides of the same coin. Uh, both the constructive and the destructive sides of human nature. Ishmael wants an authentic, real experience. He wants to know what he doesn't know. He's interested in everything, very curious person. Ahab, on the other hand, has one obsessive thought and thinks of himself as already having experienced everything to the point where he's actually thinking that he's God and he has the power of life and death over everything. I wanted to give the theater audience the visceral experience of what it is like to read the book. It, it walks you down the garden path and then it drops you into the ocean and then you're just kind of, uh, you're there with everything and then it's over. Oh.